good morning everyone and welcome to my blog number 8 so today i'm going to talk about the student way of getting a pr in canada so i'm going to explain everything step by step in this one uh, in very simple and easy way so please keep watching the video till the end this was the most requested question from my viewers so i'm going to explain today it in detail in very simple and easy way so keep watching video till the end it will be really beneficial for you if you are coming to the canada as a student and uh, in this video i'm going to talk about the work permit details and the jobs you need to do to get a permanent residency in canada so let's start by the studies first so when you come to the canada you might be on a one year course or a two year course some people pick a one year course and some people pick a two year course so that depends upon you if your course is of one year that might be of a 8 month so here semester is of 4 months so if you are having two semesters that is 8 months study then that would be considered a one year study according to the regulations over here so if you are having a two year study that means four semesters and 16 months study would be considered as a two year study over here now i am going to explain the work permit details in this one so if you study for just a one year that is like a two semesters eight months then your work permit length will be one year so most of the people who study for one year they get a work permit of a one year so if you study for two years that is four semesters at least four semesters so your work permit will be of three years so if you study for a one year the work permit will be of one year if you study for a uh two years your work permit will be of three years so now you have a three years to get a work experience in canada to submit your file in permanent residency pool so now let me explain the further process once you are on work permit how do you secure a permanent residency in canada and what are the eligibility criteria for you as a student to get a permanent residency in canada so let's start with your work experience first so you need one year that is equal to 365 days work experience in canada to submit your file in express entry pool over here so in 365 days every week you have to work more than 30 hours per week so if your hours during that week are less than 30 that week won't be considered in your experience so every week your hours must be more than 30 and one more thing the jobs you need to do to get your file in express entry so there are five category of jobs knock 0 knock a knock b knock c and knock d so your job should be in a knock 0 knock a or knock b knock is a national occupational classification so that is decided by the government so the jobs which come in these categories so there are five uh, categories knock 0 knock a knock b knock c and knock d in knock 0 there comes a management jobs like a restaurant managers or a warehouse manager and in knock a comes professional jobs like doctors dentists and knock b there comes a technical jobs like plumbers technicians so these are kind of jobs you need and knock c and knock d are the intermediate or the labor jobs for example a driver jobs or a, a server jobs so these jobs won't be considered in your pr if you do them for a one year so one year experience with the job in a knock 0 knock a or knock b category and that will be considered as your experience in canada so that makes you eligible for a pr in canada so once you complete a job in any of these three categories in canada for one year you are eligible for submitting your file into express entry pool once you submit your file into pool so they release two draws every month so it depends upon your crs score that your file will be picked up by the ircc or not that depends upon your crs score so what decides the crs score crs score is decided by many factors such as your age your educational qualification study in canada your ielts and your work experience in canada so these all factors decides your crs score so once your crs score is allocated that depends upon the draw if the draw is less than your crs score your file will be picked up by the ircc and then they will ask you for your documents the work experience documents the ielts documents and your degree evaluation from your country so these are documents which you said that you have 
in making that CRS code. So they will ask you for all those documents and then you submit your documents and then they verify those documents. It might take up to three to four months for them to verify your documents. And when your documents are verified and then they send you a permanent residency letter to your address. So that's the whole process. I have explained it in very simple and easy way. So that was it guys hope you have liked the video please press the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel for my upcoming videos and uh, if you have any question you can comment down below in comment section or you can follow me on instagram and you can message me over there if you have any question i will be more than happy to help you over there if you message me on instagram bye take care and i will see you in next video